next. The space race, not between national superpowers, but two of the world's richest businessmen. Astronaut 001, Richard Branson. As the Virgin Galactic founder, I am so Virgin Galactic founder Sir Richard Branson is planning to launch above the Earth's surface this Sunday. If he succeeds, he'd achieve the feat nine days ahead of Amazon rival Jeff Bezos. The Unity 22 mission will be Virgin Galactic's first to carry a full crew of two pilots and four mission specialists in the cabin, including astronaut 001. And Virgin Galactic's founder, otherwise known as Astronaut 001, Sir Richard Branson, joins me now alongside Sir Richard Bandler, the company's Vice President of Government Affairs and Research Operations. Great to see you uh, both. So the countdown is on, Richard. How is it looking and how are you feeling? Um, we're feeling great. Um, right behind us, you'll see the mothership and the spaceship has just been attached to the mother mothership. Um, and so... Uh, we're, we're on schedule for a launch uh, just, just, just about maybe two or three hours, I think, before the World Cup on Sundays. Um, Sarisha is one of the uh, wonderful team of people who work for Virgin Galactic who's coming with us. Uh, her life dream has been to be an astronaut. An astronaut. <laughs> Uh, do you do something? Yeah, no, it? absolutely. It's been I, I've been dreaming of this since I was little, and well, I'm still little, but uh, <laughs> since I was young. And I didn't meet the requirements to go be a traditional astronaut via NASA. And when I saw the announcement that Richard is going to be making a space line um, that to make space available for all, for all, I knew that was the way I was going to be able to fulfill my dream. So what does it take? What kind of training have you been through, Richard, in order to prepare to be an astronaut? Well, as, as I think you know, because I think you might have been there at the very original launch, um, 17 years of, um, of, of making sure that I keep fit, healthy, um, uh, do a lot of kiting, a lot of surfing, um, you know, weight training, extreme biking, um, and then do, do things like the centrifuge, which um, tests your body and replicates the flight. Um, and yeah, so basically just feel very fit, very healthy, and, um, and and very ready ready for it. Yeah, you, you um, mentioned we mentioned Richard, but the, the original launch. We were just showing some pictures. We've been in our archives back in two thousand and six. I think I came out to New York when you were launching the the prototype, the the mock up of Spaceship Two. It's been a long time in the planning. This uh, it's been a long, long, long time, and I had no idea when you came out in two thousand and six just uh, how tough. Um, uh, spa building space lines are, uh, how tough rocket science is. Um, but anyway, we have had 800 engineers working for 17 years. Um, they now have ticked every single box um, and, and now we're ready for ourselves to go. And then um, not, we're, we're not so long off from uh, sending, um, sending people who are watching this program uh, I mean, my, my dream is that young people who are watching this program can get the same excitement from it uh, on Sunday as, as when I watched the moon landing all, all those years ago. And um, just to, to show young, young kids that one day they will go to space um, and that anything's possible. And, and you know, if, uh, I've dreamt of building our own, our own space line, um, a spaceship that we could go to space on. Um, and yeah, I've, it's taken a while, but um, hopefully on Sunday the dream will come true. Sarisha, we've just seen uh, some pictures of you and the rest of the crew. What will you be doing on the mission? What is its aim? Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, you do. No, no, you do. <laughs> um, so I'll be testing the researcher capabilities on uh, on board the spaceship. So um, we'll be taking future astronauts who want to experience the awe and view of Earth from space but we'll also be taking researchers and educators that want to conduct science, develop new technologies on board the spaceship. So I'll be testing that human tended uh, experience for science and technology. Um, I can it's hear from both of you the excitement building up to this, but is there, are there any nerves? Are there any rituals that you'll be doing before you fly? Well, I, I'm excited and just, just so ready um, and I think that's really due to our team. We have an ex excellent chief astronaut trainer. We've got excellent crew, Richard, um, Colin from the UK, um, two excellent pilots. 
um, they've just built uh, and instilled confidence in me for the flight and my ability to do my job. So uh, right now I'm not nervous. I'm just really excited and ready. And what about you, Richard? Um, yeah, no, I, I'm exactly the same. I, I, you know, we've, we've, it's taken a long, long time to have uh, our chief engineer say that every box has been ticked. Um, you know, we now uh, have a spaceship uh, that, that we're happy with, that we've tested and tested the rockets, um, and we've tested and tested the mothership. Uh, we're sitting in this beautiful spaceport. I'm looking forward to showing it off, showing it off to you all on, on Sunday morning. I mean, it's uh, absolutely stunning. Just emerges from from the desert here in New Mexico, um, so we're ready. And we're, we're I haven't let myself get excited for 17 years, and now I'm letting myself get very very excited. And Richard, you don't get to where you are without a healthy competitive instinct. How important is it for you to beat Jeff Bezos? I know nobody will believe me. It honestly isn't important. I mean, what what is important is that we can both create um, very safe um, uh, space lines uh, that can offer uh, young people who are watching the, the, these programs um, a chance to go to space one day. And it's going to take us quite a long time to be able to build enough spaceships to bring the price down so that young people you know, w will be able to go to space. But that was the same with ordinary airline travel. You know, back in the 1920s, it was only the rich people that, that travel, but they then enabled more and more space, uh, sorry, more and more airplanes to be built, which has enabled more and more people to be able to fly. And, and the same will happen, I think, with this. Uh, Richard Branson, Sarisha Bandler, thank you both very much indeed. The very best of luck. We will be watching. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Cheers.